lot of money. We were very poor. And I also started volunteering at 12 years old as well, volunteering at a homeless shelter, volunteering for elderly folks who could not get their groceries. And literally in the snow, I would bring their groceries to them. And it was very important to me to show people that even though I suffered from challenges, adversity, that I wanted to give back in all facets of my life. So when I came to Arizona, started volunteering at larger organizations like Phoenix Children's Hospital, St. Vincent de Paul, St. Mary's Food Bank, and saw, of course, the need for children, families, veterans, animals. But I came across a group of folks one of them is in this room, and you'll be hearing from him shortly. And they asked me, we're starting a chamber of commerce. We would love for you to be our first executive director. I was honored, I was amazed, um, and we started a chamber. And lo and behold, we started doing a lot of volunteer efforts. More and more people got involved, more and more people, you know, businesses you know, wanted to be a part of it because they didn't know where to go, who to talk to. And I always aspire to be a resource to each and every one of you and those I know. So we started this organization, it went very, very well. Throughout that time, I spent probably another 50 to 60% of that remaining time volunteering my time. And I noticed a lot of small organizations like North Valley Symphony Orchestra, OCJ Kids Harvest Compassion Center, Starbright Foundation and others that really needed the help, really needed the support, and weren't getting it. And I always had this dream in my mind to form a foundation. And uh, we at the Phoenix Metro Chamber of Commerce and the Phoenix Metro Chamber Foundation aspire to give back to the community, aspire to show others that hope, strength, and joy is possible, and anything, your dreams, can happen. So. 2014, you know, we started the Phoenix Metro Chamber of Commerce. Grew very fast. Many of you members are in here, so thank you very much for your support again for both the Chamber of Commerce and the Foundation. But our members, because it's their Chamber of Commerce, asked, well, we want to do more philanthropy. We want to do more work in the community to help veterans, to help children, to help families, to help animals. Why don't we start a nonprofit organization that's a part of the Chamber of Commerce? So 2017, we did just that. Nonprofit 501c3 organization. And I'm proud to say we've donated over $100,000 to local charities. Thank you. I'm proud to say that we've donated thousands and thousands of hours of volunteer time to local nonprofits. Thank you. Thank you. Thousands and thousands of supplies, clothing, hygiene items, pet supplies, pet food that we collect throughout the year to several local charities. So, throughout the journey, the Phoenix Metro Chamber Foundation has helped hundreds of families, hundreds of veterans, and I'm just going to give you a couple examples today, some of the folks that we help, and I'm also going to introduce you to some very special folks who have made it happen every single day since I can remember, because I've known these folks for many years, and they're the reason why we are able to do what we do to give back. They're the reason why we exist to help as many people, as many animals as we possibly can. So first of all, we work with an organization called the Southwest Veterans Foundation. Uh, this Saturday, they're holding their Patriots Ball. We are a warrior sponsor. We've been a sponsor for the last four or five years. We get a table as a part of our sponsorship. Well, we give our seats to veteran service members and their families because we know the value that our veteran service members and their families give to us. And we never, ever forget them, never. And we, every single time, make sure that we are showing at the foundation how much we care about our veteran service members and their families. And this is an opportunity to do that. We're gonna be there this Saturday. We're gonna be volunteering. We're gonna have our table. And we're gonna be showing a whole bunch of veterans that we have treated to this event a wonderful time and a big thank you for all their sacrifices, contributions to me, my family, our community, the world. Um, and we also work with an organization called Useful Troops. This Monday, we were just kept doing care packages for deployed service members. We did over 200 care packages, and they're gonna be sent throughout the world. And this organization was started by a group of children and their parents who said, we wanna do something.
for our service members and their families and our veterans. So they also help homeless veterans. So we as a foundation support them on a regular basis by volunteering, donating funds, giving them supplies on a regular basis. Another example of helping veterans is an organization called Helping Hands for Freedom. They provide support to all the Gold Star families. Families that have been affected by the loss or injury of a loved one that served as a veteran. And they do activities, they do outreach, they help with financial uh, arrangements to ensure that our veterans, service members, and their families are well taken care of. While we sponsor every single year many of their activities, they also are one of our charities for our charity golf tournament I'll talk about later. So another example of something that we do is we help children. We help an organization called Hope Kids Arizona. They provide support and activities to children with life-threatening medical conditions, and they provide these activities that are so inspiring. We, as a team, volunteer for these activities on a regular basis.